to accept that whether this House has seven days or 30 days to approve the extension of the period of detention without charge, it's not possible to provide us with sufficient evidence and information to make that judgment without either making covert intelligence public or jeopardising the legal case against a terrorist suspect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, the purpose of coming before the House is for the Home Secretary to advise the House that, in her view, there is an exceptional uh, terrorist uh, threat, a grave terrorist threat that has occurred or is occurring, that the need for action has been urgent, but it has not been possible to assemble the necessary evidence to lay charges within the 28 days. It will be for the House to vote on the commencement order that agrees that an exceptional incident, a terrorist incident, has occurred. It is not the business of the House to interfere in the individual case, simply to be able to vote on whether an exceptional and grave terrorist threat has occurred. And I would hope that given that he is, uh, and others have used the Civil Contingencies Act uh, when they have been talking about this, uh, this issue, uh, this is exactly the same problem that would be faced in the Civil Contingencies Act. Everyone knows that his proposal will not become law. It will be blocked in the other place. The Equality and Human Rights, the Equality and Human Rights Commission will challenge it in court, and the European Court of Human Rights will declare it illegal. So why on earth is the Prime Minister playing politics with our liberties for a bill which no one thinks is necessary, no one thinks will work in practice, and everyone knows will never reach the statute book? Yeah. Mr Speaker, when he says no one thinks it's necessary, has he looked at what police chief constables have said? Has he looked at the statements that have been made by those people who have dealt with uh, terrorism? It is quite wrong to say that no one thinks it is necessary. Indeed, there was a Liberal Democratic candidate in Bristol who did a survey of all his constituents. 74% well, said they were in favour, and they said that the complexity of potential terrorist threat means that the police will need additional time. Mr Speaker, it is not only popular, it is also necessary and right. And there are many people who disagree with him profoundly. Tim Sheridan. Mr Speaker, can my right honourable friend assure the House that the proposed 42